we are given the piecewise function g of x and we want to evaluate g of x at these three given inputs. So let's start and let's look at g of negative 3. And so we see negative 3 twice when we are looking at our different domains. And we know the first step when we are evaluating piecewise functions is we want to identify which function is defined on the domain that includes our input value. So that includes x equals negative 3. And so we want to use this second function here because we know that negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 1. Because negative 3 can, must be less than or equal to x, we know that negative 3 is included in the domain of our second function here. So we are going to use negative x squared plus 1 to evaluate g of negative 3. Now that we have identified which function we want to use, we are going to substitute negative 3 in for x. And then we are going to solve. So negative 3 squared gives us a positive 9 leaving us with negative 9 plus 1. Negative 9 plus 1 gives us negative 8. So we know g of negative 3 is going to be equal to negative 8. So we have evaluated g of x at our first input here. Moving on to our second input here, we have g of 2. So first step again is we want to identify which function is defined on the domain that includes x equals 2. And that is going to be our third function here, g of x equals 5, because that is defined on the domain where x is greater than 1 and 2 is in fact greater than 1. So we know that g of x when x is greater than 1 is always going to be 5. So we know that g of 2 must be equal to 5. And we have identified our second g of x value at our given input. Finally, we have g of negative 6. I'm going to do this one over here. g of negative 6, again, identify which function is defined on the domain that includes negative 6. That's going to be our first function here because negative 6 is less than negative 3. So we are going to substitute negative 6 in for x in the equation negative 9x minus 2. That's going to give us negative 9 times negative 6 minus 2. And now all we have to do is solve. Negative 9 times negative 6 is going to give us a positive 54. We want to subtract 2. 54 minus 2 gives us 52. So our final answer here, g of negative 6 is equal to 52.